Hello, today I'm going to be talking about the Electric Eel Wheel Nano 2.1. So both of these are a 2.1 and this over here is the upgrade kit and I'll be talking more about that in a future video. But today I'm specifically focusing on the improvements of the Nano 2.1 over the 2.0. There'll be a future video about actually using it and going over all of the different features that are sort of consistent between the two versions. Here, we're gonna focus on the improvements. So the first thing you might notice is the color. This new color is a darker purple than was the purple with the Electric Eel Wheel Nano 1. And it's much different than the blue that was on the 2.0 version. The black is a similar black to what was used uh, on all the previous Nano. So these are the two colors. They'll be this black or this uh, nice purple color. So one of the big differences is that the flyer is all new. It also has a new bobbin that have bearings on them. And the reason that a new flyer and bobbin combination were introduced here is to basically help with improving tension and making sure it's very consistent and has a good uptake. For the testing we've done so far, it is much better than uh, the tensioning system on the Nano 2.0. So I think this is probably the biggest improvement. Uh, along with that is we're now using a, a spring here for the tension and a string. In the parts pack, I'm going to be including three different types of string. So this one is a little bit, it's sort of like a nylon cord. Then we've got a cotton string that's similar to what was on the electric eel wheel six. And then I've got a finer string. And I'm not probably gonna be including these in all the batches of the uh, Nano 2.1, but I wanted to include it in the first batch so I can get some feedback and then perhaps include two different strings in the future instead of uh, three different strings. So the point of that is people can try different strings and uh, definitely give me feedback when you get it on which string you prefer. I put my favorite string on by default, which is uh, this uh, nylon cord, which I think works really well. With these new flyers, I made new hooks, and I think these are my favorite hooks that I've uh, ever included on an e-spinner. So they just slide really nicely, pretty easily. And, but not so easy that they're going to, you know, bounce around when you're spinning yarn. So I really like the new hook system. The way the uh, flyer comes off is very similar to past versions. So you just take the tension string and drive belt off and then it slides off. And then we take off this rear bearing, but this rear bearing is different. It's a slightly smaller diameter than the bearings used on these new bobbins. So here we've got that, and I don't know if it's gonna show up in the video, but it's about one and a half millimeters smaller in this inner diameter. And the reason for that is I can put this little lip here, and then this bearing stops here. And what that does is with these pieces being injection molded, sometimes these, uh, arms can flex in a little bit during the molding process and that no longer is gonna matter. So that's another change that sort of improves uh, the tensioning and makes it a lot more consistent. You'll also notice that there's these O-rings on the uh, spindle here. And the reason for those O-rings is to hold the bearing and the bearings for the uh, bobbin in place. So there's no more rattling and that just makes everything quieter and a lot smoother. So I can demonstrate that. We'll power on the Nano and show you how that sounds now. So like before, it's using the same cord so you can control the on and off with this switch and this dial. It's really quiet now, even at this highest speed. And it's very smooth, much smoother than the previous one. This tensioning system really works out well. So you can really adjust the tension uh, precisely. And like I said, this little switch here, will turn it on and off. You've got the speed control over here, your direction, just like on the previous one. Oh, let me slow it down so you can see it. We've got a Z twist now. And if I switch that, we've got an S twist. So all of that 
portion works the same. In fact, the electronics are the same as the previous version, as is the motor. I was very happy with those things. So all of that is working great, just like it did on the previous version. We've just got a lot better tensioning system. As for all the different parts, um, this is the bag with power supply. So you've got the cord that goes into the wall along with an extension cord, as well as the USB power switch there. You get six bobbins, so a bag full of bobbins. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about the bobbins since those have changed. So now the bobbins all have bearings in them and they just screw together like this. So you've got your flat pack bobbins and they work pretty similar to the electric EO wheel six uh, bobbins. It's just, you know, they're a quarter the size. These hold about two ounces on a bobbin. So they're nice and they flat pack for easy transport. And then the last thing that's in the box is this bag of parts. So that has a bunch of strings. It has a spin card, the suction cups for the bottom if you like to use those, a couple extra drive belts, and their orifice reducer and the orifice hooker in there. Just like on the previous version, there's magnets to hold the orifice hook in place. And then the orifice reducer just pushes in like that and will help reduce the jiggle of your yarn if you're spinning fine yarns, that's a nice thing to use. The one other thing I realized I forgot to mention is that the flyer arms and specifically this orifice hole here is now all of this part is molded out of glass reinforced nylon, which will reduce the wear uh, from string when going through uh, these different holes here and make sure that this piece holds up a lot better than the Nano 2 did. If you've got any other questions about this version, definitely leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.